Welcome everybody to another Let's Play. As you can see today we are doing Rodina. Um, I've had this game for a while, but I wanted to let it update a little. There was a lot of stuff here that I wanted to... Uh, I'm actually just checking the keyboard bindings. It's been a while since I have played this. Okay, now the clutch here is something unique in this game. Uh, you hold the m right mouse button and hit either W or S, and you'll go faster or slower. Uh, and some of them you need... I don't know if I have any... No, I do not have another save game here. I'm gonna do normal. As I said before, I always do try to do normal on these. I'm gonna turn it down just a little more than I normally would. And, uh, from there, that's, that's me. So... It starts like that. Now, Rodina is still uh, in early access. I first heard about this game on Reddit and uh, spoke with the person a bit, uh, came back to the game. You can change your name. Of course, we're going to change our name here to Bones. Acknowledge. My name is Bones. Acknowledge. And there is that dot there. Um, they do a quick tutorial, which I like. You know, nothing huge. Um, one thing about Rodina that is still being worked on is the barrenness of the planets. It's not quite as fulfilling to explore a planet as, say... And I bring this one up a lot, but quite honestly, it was one of my favorites back in the day. It's, uh... Nactus, which was a great little planet exploration game. Uh, Rodina, I think, can get there. I do. Um, they have put alien bases. Uh, they're aliens that are warring with humankind. And their bases and other things on the planet's surface now, so instead of just dogfights, you can encounter them on ground. What I would like to see personally are foliage, lakes, maybe some cool randomized Generally generated, generally rated, generated landmarks, and this is your starting ship. Um, it is important to note that there are mods for this game as well out there. Um, I think they're on the Nexus right now. I don't know if they're Workshop integrated. I do not believe so at this time. But one thing I do like, however, is that there is an airlock in and out. Uh, but this is also cool. Oh wow, this has gotten bigger since I played it last time. Much more detailed and cool looking. You can see the entire map of the ship. And one thing that I dig about this is that you can actually change different things uh, about it. Like, you see this dark room here? Uh, so what I'm going to do... If I remember right, let's, let's look there. No, I'm not looking at that. Necessarily, so we'll undo whatever the hell I just did there. Um, place entities is what I was looking for. A light. And I want a white light in this room here. So it'll brighten that room up a little and make it less gloomy. Um, and then I just click apply. And then, voila, that's already done. So it's not hard to modify your ship. We're in my ship now. There's an operations computer that tells me a little more about weapons I have. There's a crate. Um, things that aren't used yet will eventually be used. I'm going to show you just quickly around the ship a little before we go into things. Um, but let's get into the cockpit here. There is a story to Rodina. And this, I actually dig this fit, uh feature, this feature in this game, is that if you have a ship fire, you can run and put the ship fire out, you can hop out of the cockpit, and try to set it down and put the fire out, and your ship will slowly restore itself. There are scanners, so that is me, there's a place called Zorica, goals and data, uh, these are the operations computers, so we, we really ain't got shit for 
weapons. Air pressure is important on this ship, and this is our radio. Now, most of the story is told through the radio. So you will get this. Uh, let's see here. Citizen, the mission is in danger. A brave vanguard has been attacked by ships of unknown origin. Your fellow colonists have been scattered and destroyed. It is by providence alone that you have survived. The great ship Rodina will enter the system in but a few scant years. If this enemy host is not defeated, the millions of souls aboard Rodina and our dreams for a bright future will surely fail. Uh, you are our only hope for salvation. Repel the enemy hordes and secure a mighty foothold in the Zorica system. Your brother and sister colonists are depending on you. Your ship is yet ill-equipped for a glorious mission. You must outfit it with a more powerful drive. When capable of traversing the blackness of space, go and acquire one. And this is an encrypted one. Now, once you have no more messages, you will see that that turns off. Uh, now I'm going to show you a little bit about this. Apparently the game is going to show us about this. If you, it's important to look there on the right. You'll see that little icon there. Oh god. Um, so that was shifting. So that's kind of that's kind of it. You just kind of hold space. If you want to go a little quicker on a place, you can uh, kind of go to combat speed, which is as you can see a bit quicker. Now, 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 now. Okay, you see there that that area there is what I've done there. Um, this spot here, we're going to try and do a landing. And probably bite it heavy, but I'm gonna try to not bite it heavy. There's my altitude coming down, so we're gonna try to be soft with that. I don't know how I'm gonna do, but the reason I'm excited like a kid in school is because there are objects normally in those areas where you see that, but uh, I am not seeing anything, so am I like wrong there? I don't know. Um, it takes a little to get used to the piloting in this game, but I will say it's smoother, oh god, as I start to, <laughs> I'm about to say it's smoother than anything, as I nose dive straight into something. Um, I, I'm getting a feeling actually I need to be moving forward faster than I am. I don't think I was anywhere close to where I should have been there. So we're gonna look and see if I can see any objects on the ground as I pass, guys. Because normally I would spot them. Okay, alright, so this is telling me... Uh, whoa, 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 it's telling me, like, throw your shit up. It's down in here, so... I'm going to just... Come here. I'm gonna, whoa, god. Okay, hey, you are you all are probably laughing at me right now. It's been a long time since I played Rogue Um I was somebody who bought this pretty early on into it back before there was a lot to do except just dogfight and hot planet to planet. Now there's more of a story. Um, there are encryption keys going on. There's, I feel like he, uh, the developer here, I feel like his flesh is set quite a, oh shit. And it, if you look, you can sort of see what I mean, that there are indeed objects now up there on those hills, and oh god, I'm gonna, no, no, you can roll the, you can roll the ship a little. Only <laughs> I could park this bad, look at this. Horrible ass parking job. Uh, so we have successfully landed. I am gonna grab a weapon. You can grab a blaster, which I think is cool as well. Now, I have not got to use a blaster ever, so I'm excited because the last time I played this, the blaster was not yet in. So the airlock door should close behind me. Um, and we're gonna do some exploring here. Pick up things. Now, things you can pick up. Technology. 
Do things like uh, robots, I'm told. See, missile ammo. Alright, so those will give us an edge in case we do deal with what they call a Xeno or an alien. These, I believe, are messages. These are very important to the mission. Oh, there's an upgrade to our engine. Oh, yes. It's a start, guys. It's a start. Data sticks are what we want. Derive sons and daughters. This humble spear which you have called your home is not but the first step in your journey. For too many years we have slept in the womb of creation. Content to merely gaze up at the heavens. We threw rocks and crystal metal into the sky. Touching the darkness above with only hesitant fingertips. Apparently this is early on into our space travel, leaving Earth it must be. Um, Arise, no longer is a sky beyond our grass. Raise your arms for that modern Prometheus, the most science-blessed. That world-striding creator has given us the chariot and the steed in one. Look up and see that Malcolm McCready has blinded us in glorious possibility. Uh, I feel like Loki reading this. O oh, sons and daughters, step forth and seize the possibility. For generations we have gazed through the dark glass, the worlds beyond our own, and yet these worlds remain the above, the original beyond. No longer! Uh, would you waste away on Earth, in these barrows, these sloven huts, awash in the stagnation of rot? Would you stand with clay feet in the just dust of generations, treading the same ground a billion before you have tried? So we'll click that and add that to the archives, and that gets beamed back to our ship automatically. Automatically. God, I don't know what is wrong with me today. I think I had too much Kool-Aid, frankly. Uh, no offense to Kool-Aid. I, I, I love Kool-Aid. If you guys want to, you know, give us some free Kool-Aid, we'll gladly take it. Sponsorships. Yeah. We're not there yet, guys. Don't get too excited. Uh, we'll take one, gladly, but we're not there yet. Uh, I think I saw another crate up here, so we'll see if anything's in there if we already got it already. I already read that. So we'll go back to the ship, catch up, see what's there. Now what's interesting is, every single asteroid you see, you can actually explore. So there's a lot to explore, but the thing that I like is that uh, it's pretty effortless to do all this. And you can see the airlock depressurizes. Uh, and repressurizes, which I think is a nice touch too. It makes the ship feel, to me anyway, more like a real ship. Um, somewhere around here actually is even like a captain's quarter saying, well let's see what this is. Uh, urgent message. You can see now, hero, the sad remains of our glorious vanguard steering like so many pearls across the system. <laughs> Each a fragment of life, one sown by a steadfast traveler of Rodina. So Rodina must have been some giant ship. I weep for their fate as all on Rodina do, for there were brothers and sisters. You see now the burden that rests in your capable shoulders, and the reasons for the urgency of my messages. I see that your reach now exceeds this humble vocation. Go forth, young hero, and find greater means of outfit for your craft. Take care, the enemy is everywhere, and if you die, the hopes of our great people die with you. No pressure, though. No pressure. Jeez, that's a lot to lay on one person, isn't it? Go forth, but don't die. Um, so anyways, somewhere... Oh, this is also new. I don't recall there being a second floor. So now we have a proper bed. I hope in the future, um, maybe there's some cool technology or something that will come of that. Maybe even some hireable crew, maybe. Recruitable crew, maybe like alien defectors. Could be a thing and help you out. Uh, no sir, I already have a blaster, I don't need another. I wonder if I can drop my blaster back in its little poster there. Is it like offices? I feel like there's a lot here that is still going to be fleshed out and worked on. Okay, so those are the archives themselves. I think I got turned around this somewhere. I think this is the... No, this is a... The latrine. Uh, and you think I'm funny, uh, but I always... I feel like every game is slightly more realistic when you see a bathroom. Am I the only one? Like, do you guys you get that too? 
there's a dog in the background going crazy, I do apologize. He is, uh, he is not loving the fact that I've not let him bark enough today, so now he's decided he will bark. God be damned, he will bark. And he means it. Um, we got some missiles now. We got our ship. Everything looks good there. Uh, um, I guess the blaster is just mine for the beginning, so... Let's hop back on our ship. Get up. Get up, get up, get up. And, uh, I'm not kidding you when I say just about every friggin' place you see out there. Um, like there, you see that minor asteroid? Visited now, so... We are going to go to that asteroid right now. Um, but first we're going to need to hit cruising speed, if I remember right. So we'll go there, and you can see that cool blue fire that is on me. Um, flying in this game is pretty... Whoa, 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 calm it down there. Now there is an enemy ship, so we're going to hit combat speed. You can see it there in the red. And, uh, your boy here is gonna try to take it on. For the fate of Earth everywhere. Oh, he sees me. We're, we're on it now. We're at each other. Oh, God, I forgot how to do the roll. There's a, there's a good way. It feels like, uh, like X-Wing was tie fighter a little bit, guys. No, you don't. Eat it, sucker. My ship health is horrible. Do I have a missile I can shoot them with? There we go! Oh, shh. I have blown up in space, y'all. I died it. Okay, so that's us right before then, at least. Uh, that is one thing I do like about Ravina, is that they don't make me totally bite it. I have a chance to, we're gonna send a volley right after him, we're also gonna switch to missiles right off the bat. I need to remember more of my neighbors, remember what I'm doing, I don't anymore. Oh, I do like that, oh god, I'm spinning, I'm spinning, right yourself, right yourself, right your friggin' self, son. I am under a huge volley of fire right now, and I need to stop this. Help! What just happened? I need to right my ship. I apologize to those of you who get motion sickness. I need to get somewhere away from here, and we're not gonna. So here's maybe what we're gonna do. Uh, we're not gonna suck so bad. <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. Either way, this fight's coming to me. Um, I just got done telling somebody dogfighting was not horrible in this game, and yet I just got my ass handed to me. But, uh, that's me, not the game itself, and I am well aware of that. So, while he is in my sights, we're gonna whale him, and then finish him off like so and not play around anymore. There we go, fellas. There we go. That's how it's done. You can see there that I, uh... I've done it. It's taking me a little, guys. It's taking me a little. I do a pilot. Oh, God, Jesus. Oh, peeps, that's fast. Okay, come, 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 baby. Come, baby. Alright, let's go... Drop down to combat speed and up at docking speed and try and do an easy, easy landing. But you will notice there that the actual ship health uh, changed. And there we, there we go. Nice and easy there. Let's stay in this alcove. All right, and just like that. With a uh, little knowledge of what the hell I was doing, I have flown and landed on an alien asteroid. Gotten into my first dogfight. Died twice, but finally bounced back and survived. And now we're gonna go see what 
sort of bounty I have. Uh, there are interplanetary vehicles. There's like a, a motorcycle sled thing I can get. I'm hoping I pick it up early. Um, that would be awesome. My empty barrel is a bit of a dick tease, wasn't it? <gasps> yes! The encryption key. These are important because they help with the story. Missiles are always good, as you saw. Um, <laughs> why did I grab the empty crate? And some recycling. Are we recycling this now? Um, oh, I forgot, actually. I have a jetpack as well. Now, we are going to comb this planet a little. It's a small asteroid, but I have the feeling there's more stuff on it. I, I could have swore when we first came on here, I did indeed see a second. Um, what was the left? There, now we can open this one. Um, there are also, it's worth saying, there are two guns. There's a blaster and a repeating blaster. Uh, the repeating blaster is probably what I should be carrying on the ground. Because we're going to really try to take this fight to these alien bastards and help ourselves there. Alright, so encrypted message. Oh god, this is hot. Uh, I'm going to read you the important bits here. A pending data transfer initiated by A. Deneva was complete. File read immediately. Uh, reach ships this command. Open immediately. Pressing archive. Warning. Polymorphic encryption was detected by da, 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 da. Okay, incoming transmission. Source identified. Landfall class. Light transport designated S or CSS Vanguard. Odina, please respond. Odina, this is Vanguard on Towns, please respond. Incoming transmission. Source identified. Polo class. Custom heavy transport designate Rodina. This is Rodina, Mission Town, Zeridu. Give us your status. We saw you make a clean entry in the heliosphere and then everything cut out. Um, let's see. Be advised, Rodina, we have hostile Xeno contact. Repeat. Hostile Xeno contact. We're repelling fire from two, correction three, unknown vessels, some kind of energy weapons. Took out half our plating before we even disengage the liminal drive. That's not possible. The system's empty. We've got long-range data going back 40 years on this. It's always been empty. Can you evade or re-engage liminal? Uh, Vanguard says negative. We lost the primary pilot and most navigation on the first volley, so we're flying blind. Liminal drive uh, is down. Now, pause for a moment. These Xenos do hit your ship really damn hard. You may have noticed that. The computer auto-ejected everyone on the starboard side. We're trying to get some distance and a conventional thrust, but they're right on us. Fighting's at 40%. We need help here, Rodina. What can you give us? I'm not sure I understand what you want exactly. We're still five or six years away at current speed. We can monitor you, but not much else beyond that. Science division says Xeno is a negative. It must be another colony group. Um, can I, you identify any markings? These are Xeno hostiles, Rodina. Xeno, ET, Little Green Men. Xeno. Fittings at 30%. You need to burn your fuel reserves. Move to a faster trajectory, or I don't know, try to blow off their transmitters with their comms. Do something. Uh, negative. You want us to risk the entire mission with an untested trajectory. We've got millions of lives here. We're not exactly nimble. Hold frequency. I'm getting word from command. Okay, Vanguard, I have orders for you. We need you to get as close as you can to the hostiles and then detonate your drive. That comes directly from the council. You need to take up the hostiles or cripple them if possible. Screw you, Rokina. <laughs> Fighting's at 10%. I'm launching all life pods and ordering a core eject in the opposite direction. If the hostiles follow the core, you may be able to get a few life pods in the asteroid belt and hide. Detonate your own drive. We want to live. Do not core eject, Vanguard. Repeat, do not core eject. The whole mission plan is on those cores. If they break the encryption, they'll have everything. All our tech, all our landing sites. You're screwing three generations of lights here, Vanguard. Uh, three percent plating. It's already done. Good luck, Rodina. Vanguard, come in. Vanguard comms, please respond. Well, so Vanguard betrayed Rodina. Any surviving Vanguard crew, this is your parent colony ship, the Rodina. If you're still receiving communications, 
It is imperative that you contact us on our private frequency uh, and the long number. Your survival and our survival depends on you communicating with us. This message will repeat. So, uh, I think it would be a cool little feature if I could tune at the radio then. I cannot, but that would be good to do. Uh, well, we survived our first fight, but not greatly. We didn't do great, and that looks like a base down there, maybe. What is that? I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's explore it, maybe? Let's explore it. That's a ship, I think. Can we be sneaky beaky and get close to whatever that is? I just tried to light it up. Oh god, don't hit it. Genius. Is that just a skull? Am I just looking at a skull there? I think I'm literally just looking at a skull, but we'll still get out and look at an alien uh, skull fossil because, I mean, why would you not? When I play these games, I play these games as if I myself am really in the, in the moment, and I'm not going to lie to you, I am an explorer by nature, I would be looking at everything. This is new now, this wasn't here before. So I find it kind of cool, and oh, did we find something guys? We're going to try it. Wish me luck, people. Oh shit. I am in the enemy base, people. I'm in the enemy base. All our fans, assuming we have any, our watchers. Oh, there's there's one. Holy crap! There one is an actual dude. No, God, get that button back. They are ugly little shits. Did he kill me already? He killed me already. I hope it puts me right back there. It does. Alright. I need a strategy and I don't have other weapons. What do you guys think? Open the door and let them pile out. Let's do this. Let's see if one comes at me. We got combat music, but I feel like they're waiting for me. Okay. How in the hell are you shooting me through the wire, cheater? That is some BS. Alright. So strafing. We got one out. We got one out of his comfort zone, y'all. Oh, what is this? Lapple Dapple. Health resource. We got another guard over there, and we're gonna just nail him before he hits us even worse. We took some serious damage here, guys. I don't know how well we're gonna be. Did I get him? I'm kind of afraid to go forward, man. Feels a little Wolfenstein right now, doesn't it? Was that an alarm? Do they know I'm here? Oh my god. Uh, to the developer of Rodina, you've certainly stepped uh, your game up to a very good degree. I mean, kudos to you for that. Uh, it's, I honestly did not know I was going to be exploring the Xeno base, but this feels as exciting and interesting. Although, you really got to fix that door at the point, um, as I had hoped for. We're going to give it one more go, guys. After that, unfortunately, I have other things i got to gotta deal with here with the dog. It is just about time for the dog to, to hit his rounds outside and scare the hell out of all the other neighbor dogs. He loves to bark at everything. Um, and I suppose you could say, oh, it's just a typical dog, but no, you don't understand. He lives. Lives for me, man. Those, those weapons, they really give you a bite, don't they? Um, so maybe some combat maneuvers I would like to see. And it's this dude. Oh, we're gonna see what this does. I found out if I... Oh, shit! Alright. So I got two modes. I can go in hotter with this big slapple dapple thing there. Seems to do more damage. It's slower, but 
I'll be damned if that did- oh god, okay, it's so gummy. But oh god, if that did not just paint the room with, uh, with that one, so we're gonna straight and try for him. It's been a while since I've had to play an FPS, like a retro FPS with strafing, so... Alright. Now that I know I got this, as they say in the Hunger Games, the odds are ever in our favor. Maybe, maybe not. Dude, I'm like... seriously freaking out right now. What if we are actually on a Xenon mothership of some sort and I just discovered something crazy with that? That would be incredible. It's more than one. Of course it is. So, Xenos have numbers. I wonder how they beat us, right? I mean, we're operating here in the lower that these have killed humans to the brink of near extinction. It's safe to uh, see why. Although not the best fighters, they are certainly not the worst. They are uh, tough little chips. Did I nail them? Three to one. No, we got them. We got a lot of help with this. I like the combat because it's very punchy. Oh, dude. My nerves, guys, are spaghetti. It is definitely my spaghetti up in here. Eat it, Xeno. Eat Earth Justice, you son of a bitch. Look at me. Oh, you punk. One more good try. And then from here, I'm sitting at this base, I think. We're gonna do a different route. I feel like... Alright. I know when I'm beaten for the day. Good game. Good game, Rodina. But we're gonna call it here. Um, so anyways, guys, this is Rodina. So as you see, lots to do in it, exploring planets, exploring hidden bases I didn't even know I had. Now I could jet back, back out of this, I just want to let you all know. There is a... Oh, I thought that, yes, there is, okay. There is a jet back, but uh, I'm in it to win it. So I will keep hacking away at this, and hopefully we'll... Uh, but anyways, so I'm gonna stop it here. I am Bones. Be sure you subscribe to our channel, give us a like if you have not done both. Share us like wildfires, spread us around, show your friends. Uh, drop a comment below. What do you think of Rodin? How do you think it's developing so far? Like I said, there's still lots the developer plans on doing, especially with the lore of the Xenos and all that. This is the first time I got to have a ground fight with Xenos, and I gotta say, they're more intimidating than I thought they'd be. Kinda got a little lizard look to them, don't they? Like a, a little, little troglodyte thing going on there? Anyways, um, yes, yeah, so you guys have a great day. Thank you very much for watching. Rodina.